Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now today I'm going to be talking about the Atlanta weekend for Truck Xfinity and Cup. Obviously this is the first race with the new configuration of Atlanta Motor Speedway basically being now a super speedway. First, but first before we get into that, let's talk about the next race which is Cota, Circuit of the Americas. Uh, this will be the first road course for all for all for the Cup Xfinity and Trucks. Uh, so it'll be very interesting to see who qualifies and all that other stuff. So Friday, March 25th will be very truck and Xfinity uh, heavy, heavily based. Trucks will first have practice and qualifying. Um, so practice will go for 30 minutes and then qualifying will be up next. So 3 p.m. Eastern time for practice and 3.30 uh, p.m. Eastern time for qualifying. And then the Xfinity series, once again, a 30 minute practice, se uh, practice session for the Xfinity series. Then qualifying um, after that, 5 p.m. Eastern time on practice and 5:30 p.m. Eastern time for qualifying. All of them will be on FS1. Saturday will be uh, practice and qualifying for the Cup race. Uh, that'll be an hour um, between on um, practice, so 10 a.m. Eastern time for practice and an 11 a.m. Eastern time for qualifying. That will be streamed on FS1. The Truck Series will uh, race will be start, will start at 1 p.m. Eastern time for the running of the Expel to fifth. Uh, 225, there we go, um, uh, it'll be on FS1 and MRN, and the Xfinity Series, that will start at 4.30pm Eastern Time for the running of the Pit Boss 250, that would be streamed on FS1, PRN, and TSN. And finally, we got the Cup Series at 3.30pm Eastern Time for the running of the Echo Park Automotive Grand Prix on Fox and PRN. I think, isn't, uh, I don't know what PRN is, I can't remember, it's like... No, I, I all I know is that something racing network. I can't. I, I do not know what the P means. I'm gonna guess program racing network. I don't know. Probably not. But that is the Kotal weekend. So that'll be the next race for Trucks Xfinity and Cup. Let's not go on with to the results. And first off, with the Truck Series, like we always do, and that was won by Corey Helm, who got his, who gets his first career win. Second place to him is our Truck Series. Champion will reign champion uh, Ben Rose and Ty Majeski, Chandler Smith, Zane Smith, Stuart Friesen, Ryan Priest, Tanner Gray, Derek Krause, and also himself ran out of the top 10. Tyler Ancrum, Granite Finger, Jack Wood, Chase Purdy, Jesse Little, Christian Eckes, Chris Hacker, Jordan Anderson, Matt Jasko, and Spencer Boyd ran out of the top 20. <coughs> uh, to the rear only, uh, five drivers went to the rear, and all of them were due to unapproved adjustments Jordan Anderson, John Hunter Nemechek. Uh, Thad Moffat, Chase, Chase Purdy, and Ty Majeski. No one failed to qualify. <clears throat> and just to let you know, qualifying was rained out. Practical qualifying were rained out, so qualifying was based on the metric system or something in the rule book uh, that NASCAR has. And the practice uh, was ran, I think, a day before or, when, or a couple hours before for, um, uh, for Selective Series. Anyways, for events that happened, uh, lap 2, DeBenedetto gets into the wall after losing a tyre, even though the race saves green. Lap 7, Deacon makes a great save after getting pushed, I think by Colby Howard, if I remember correctly. Uh, lap 31, Stuart Friesen wins stage 1, and on lap 60, John Hunter Nemechek wins stage 2 after debris causing the caution. Lap 68, uh, Dean Thompson gets loose and slides, uh, and slides, on, and slides onto uh, Christian Eckes. Lawless Allen... Colby Howard, Zane Smith, and Jack Wood all involved. Uh, probably maybe put that up on screen. I can't really remember what happened, but I guess that was like... Uh, not a lot of things really happened in the Truck Series race, I'll be honest. Uh, maybe I can try and find a save uh, that Deegan did, but I mainly probably put on the when Dean Thompson got, got loose. So I'll try to find that. Hopefully I can try and find it from Hendrick Chase 9. Uh, lap 80, Tate Fogelman spins after... Jordan Anderson, I don't know something about him, and speaking of la uh, speaking down on lap 91, they collided again, but this time, uh, Tanner Gray slowed uh, Jordan Anderson down, and that caused a wreck between him and Fogelman. Lap 100, Chris Wright gets into the wall, and lap 135, Corey Helm gets his first win in the series after a push from John Hunter Nemechek, and Chandler Smith was not very happy. I think he said it in an interview that, well, I mean, obviously he was not happy, um, you know, that John Hunt Dimitrick pushed Corey Helm and not helped uh, Chandler and not helped Chandler Smith. So, uh, 
it's it's interesting. It's a bit political, but <clears throat> I mean, I feel like Corey Helm had a uh, had a pretty fast car. Well, that's just supposed to say fast truck, but he didn't get any stage points. And Chandler Smith is obviously competing for a champion uh, this season. So I can understand why Chandler Smith wanted John Nemechek to push him, but I think when they restarted, Nemechek was behind uh, Corey uh, was was behind Helm, so kind of makes sense in my end, but I don't know. As far as drivers who finished outside of the top 20, I'll just mention him a bit. Uh, we got as Ross Chastain, who competed in the fifth um, Nice Motorsports truck, which that will be the truck that Tyler Carpenter will be running in the Knoxville race. There's John Hunter Nemechek checked down in 24th, Matt Crafton, Colby Howard, the Carson Hosevar, uh, the guy Matt Benedetto down in 30th, Lawless Allen, De Dean Thompson, and Haley Deegan. Not having um, a good start to the season. So out of the way, let's now move on to the Xfinity series. And that was won by Ty Gibbs. Uh, I think that's two in a row if I'm going to look actually. No, no it's not. Two wins though for Ty Gibbs. Uh, so it's already a great start for for the young man. Uh, second place to him was that Daytona winner Austin Hill. Then AJ Medinga, Riley Herbst, Landon Castle, Mason Massey. And Carl Weatherman, shout out to them. They did a fantastic job for DGM Racing getting a top 10. A very, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe like freaking Mason Massey. Massey was very, very close to getting a top 5 if he passed Landon Castle at the very end. But either way, great performance by, by the two uh, DGM teammates. Uh, between them was Brennan Jones and Sheldon Creed behind Carl Weatherman. Ryan Sieg ran out of the top 10. Ryan Sieg is not having a good, seat, is a good start, especially with Ty Gibbs. Then J.J. Ailey, Ryan Vargas, Jeffrey Earnhardt, Brent Moffitt, Jeb Burton, Anthony Alfredo, Shane Lee, Brandon Brown, Alex LeBay, and Tommy Joe Martins ran out of the top 20. Uh, some drivers thought to qualify, that's just because of the of the ruling uh, with when qualifying was rained out. David Starr, Brennan Paul, Chad Fincham, Ronnie, no, sorry, Dylan Bassett, and Harrison Rhodes. Uh, so, uh, so we already know that David Starr is driving for SS Green Light Racing. Brandon Poole is driving for Mike Harmon Racing. Chad Fincham is driving for the number 13 NBA Motorsports car. Uh, Dylan Bassett is driving for his own team, Bassett Racing, alongside his brother, Ronnie Bassett Jr. And Harrison Rhodes um, was competing, well, uh, was in the Means Motorsports car. Obviously, all those um, drivers failed to qualify. Anyway, so uh, to the rear. Total of five drivers went to the road due to unapproved adjustments. Matt Mills, Jeffrey Earnhardt, Loris Hezemans, Ryan Sieg, and Seven Parsons. Lap 21, Brandon Brown does a nice save. I don't know where, but play maybe put it up. I don't really know. Uh, lap 41, Josh Sperry wins stage one after passing Gregson. Um, it was also a junior motorsports uh, finish of one, uh, one to four on stage one. And on lap, and on lap 81, AJ Medinga wins stage two. Lap 106, Anthony Alfredo, Jeb Burden, Jade Buford, and Jeremy Clements have involved in an accident on the backstretch. I did saw that Jeremy Clements was very, very vocal on Twitter, uh, basically saying, basically saying it was Jeb Burden's fault, if I remember correctly. And um, I'll try to find a screenshot of that tweet, um, and I'll put it on on screen so, so you can have a look at it. Lap 129, uh, Sam Mayer spins at the pit road exit. It's a bit weird. Lap 139, Brandon Brown spins in turn one, making contact with Sheldon Creed. Lap 161, my side gets spun by by Riley Herbst. Lap 166, Matt Mills, Stephen Parsons, and Jesse Ruji involved in a crash, and which caused a red flag for over 12 minutes. I don't know what I don't know like what was so significant about it. I'm gonna guess it was the big one. I don't really know, um, but maybe I can you know try and find uh, I could try and find a video and. Obviously, you get the you get to see why it was a why it was a red flag while my clueless past self was just would just be talking about it. But <clears throat> red flag, well, for like twelve minutes, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't like Auto Club where it took like a pretty long time. I think like an hour or like thirty minutes or something. I don't know. It was pretty long. <clears throat> and finally, on lap one hundred seventy-two, Ty Gibbs wins the Nelly Care to or Nelly Care. I don't know how you call it. Uh, <coughs> sorry, now the car is 250 after a last lap pass on Ryan Sieg. 
Oh, Ryan Sieg has to be kicking himself. I was hoping that Sieg would win the race. Uh, it would have been a storybook ending. <laughs> Especially for uh, that family-owned team, RSS Racing. Um, wish I, I, I wish I'd, uh, he won that race, but he didn't. He got a little bit lose, got, and then he was just... He was stuck in the middle. He was just getting sucked back uh, back to the tail end of the top 10. Very unlucky uh, for Ryan Sieg, but um, that is racing. Uh, let's have a look at the other drivers who finished outside of the top 20. Got uh, Sam Mayer down in, down in 21st. There's Noel Gregg's now points leader in 26th, and in his very impressive, consistent uh, consistent run. Trevor Bain down in 28th. He was driving for JGR. That's Maya Snyder. And uh, Sage Cameron thing made his first start in the Xfinity series. Uh, Daniel Hemrick was involved in an accident. I think that was. During the big one, and Clint Justin Allgaier as well. I think that was the big one that happened. Uh, and then there's Lawrence, and then Lawrence has the manager, Jeremy Clever, and Jay Buffer. So I think that was the accident on lap 106, which I probably also put up a clip on that. But it is also the, the drivers for the qualify David Sarah, Brendan Poole, Chad Fincham, Dylan Bassett, and Harrison Rhodes. So so that's Xfinity all done. So I'll move on to the Cup Series, and that was won by William Byron, who gets his. Is, I think it's his second or third career win in the Cup Series. I cannot remember. Whatever. Uh, second place in Ross Chastain continuing his very impressive start through the 2022 season. Then Kurt Busch, Dennis Suarez once again. Shout out to Corey LaJoy. He gets his first ever top... Uh, he, yeah, his first top five of the series. Chase Elliott, Chris Busher, Martin Truex Jr., Joe Logano, and Alex Bowman ran out the top ten. Justin Haley, Brad Kozlowski, Bob Wallace, Eric Jones, Chase Elliott, Josh Blakey, Ryan Blaney, David Reagan, BJ McLeod, and Greg Biffle ran out the top 20. Good old Greg Biffle, who's uh, competing part-time for NY Racing. No drivers for the qualify. Uh, to the rear, only two drivers. Brad Kozlowski due to unimproved adjustments, and Harrison Burton due to multiple tech failures. Uh, stuff that happened, left 24, I'll definitely show this, because this was a hard hit. Um, lap 24, no drags and gets loose and spins in turn 2, hitting the inside wall hard. That was a very violent uh, hit from Gregson. Obviously, like, this was his his first start, I guess. I mean, it's like, it, it was his first start for Colleague, and it's not a really great way to end it, huh, isn't it? Uh, so, hopefully, Gregson, obviously, uh, matures a bit, and um, we get to see a bit more of him in the Cup Series, maybe even uh, maybe even front running, uh, and in his races. Uh, then lap 95, Chastain gets into the wall after a tie down. Lap 101, Chastain is held on pit road due to improper fueling. Uh, Kyle Busch, Austin Dillon makes contact, and Dillon spun and collecting his brother Ty Dillon and Chase Briscoe. Lap 102, William Byron wins stage one. Up 145, Tyler Reddick loses a tie and starts the big ones. Sindrick, Larson, LaJoy, Hamlin, Bell, Harrison Burden, Lagana, McDowell, Todd Gillen, Custer, Kurt Busch, and Bowman all involved. Up 201, Sandhouse loses a tire while leading on, on, on turn 3 and spins. Sindrick and Harvick and Jones all involved. Left 209, William Byron, uh, William Byron, Ryan Blaney wins stage 2 while Larson and Hamlin make contact. Um, maybe also, I'll probably also show that as well, but I don't know. Just depends on how I feel. Lap 301, Todd Gillen spins on the backstretch, uh, while Cody Ware gets collected by Greg Biffle and spins hitting the inside wall hard. Uh, it, mm, probably won't show that, but it was a pretty violent wreck for Cody Ware. It really reminded me of Joe, uh, not really actually, it, it didn't really remind me of Joey Gates' crash thing in Las Vegas, but it's still a really vicious hit. Uh, left 308, Amarola spins off to Suarez, push Chass into him, and left 300, uh, 325, William Byron wins the Falls of Honor Quick Trip 500, while Justin Haley, Bubba Wallace, Chris Busher crashes on the line, uh, Blaney Briscoe, um, into the wall prior to the finish line, while Bell was ruled second, well, was first in second place, but was ruled out due to passing below the line. Uh, which is why you don't see him in second place. You actually see him, if I scroll down, you see him in 23rd place um, out of all the drivers who were on, who were in the lead lap. So Amarola and Harvick also in front of him in 21st and 22nd respectively. 
Uh, then you got Tyler Reddick, who was having such a great start of the season. Hamlin, still struggling. It's Larson. Uh, Austin Sinjic, Kyle Busch, and Cole Custer, Austin Dillon, Ty Dillon, Noah Gregson down in 37th place. So I move on to the standings. So first through the Truck Series, because that's the thing. There are the regular season standings for the Truck Series. Chandler Smith is still your points leader, only by 13 points um, in front of Tanner Gray. Then Ty Majeski, Stuart Friesen, Ben Rhodes, uh, Christian Ecke is also myself. John Hunter, David Check, Zane Smith, and Matt Craft around at the top 10. Then Carson Hosevar, Tyler Ankrim, Ryan Priest, Matt De Benedetto, Derek Krause, Grant Finger, Timmy Hill, Chris Wright, Jesse Little, and Spencer Boyd ran out the top 20. For the playoff picture, know that Chandler Smith and Zane Smith are already in um, still because no regular season driver has actually won res um, since uh, Chandler Smith winning. Uh, then uh, Tanner Gray in second place. Well, Ch Chandler Smith is in first place, but then Tanner Gray second, then Ben Rose through freezing time. Majeski, Zane Smith is in sixth place. The John Hunter, Nemechek, Christian Eckes, also myself, and Matt Crafton in the top ten. Xfinity, uh, no Gregson still retains his points lead only, but only though it is 19 points behind Ty Gibbs and AJ and AJ Armendinger, who are tied for second. Then Justin Allgaier in fourth, Josh Berry, Brandon Jones, Daniel Hemrick, Austin Hill, Riley Herbs, Ryan Sieg. Landon Castle, Sheldon Creed, well, Ryan C. ran out of top 10. Landon Castle, Sheldon Creed, Sam Mayer, uh, Brennan Brown, Jeb Burden, Trevor Bain, Anthony Alfredo, Brent Martha, JJ Yaley, and Kyle Sieg ran out of the top 20. For the playoff rankings, we got no, so we know that Gregson and Gibbs are in due to winning. Behind uh, the duo, it is AJ Armendinger in third place, and, uh, and Austin Hill. I forgot about Austin Hill one day, Tony, even though I've mentioned it. Austin Hill is also locked in as well. And AJ Armendinger is third. Behind Austin Hill is Josh Berry, then Justin Allgaier, Hemrick, Brandon Jones, Herbs, R Ryan Sieg, Castle, Creed, and that's it. Now, there's a top 12. I was better go to say Mayer, but he's in 13th place. Finally, for the Cup Series, Chase Elliott now takes the points lead off Kyle Larson. Seven points behind uh, in front uh, behind him is Joe Logano, then Chase Briscoe, William Byron, Kurt Busch, Ryan Blaney, Eric Roller, Martin Truex Jr., Alex Bowman, Ross Chassis ran out top ten, then Kyle Busch, Larson, uh, Suarez, Kevin Harvick, Tyler Reddick, Kozlowski, Sindrick, Bubba Wallace, Eric Jones, and Chris Busher, top twenty. And for the playoffs, uh, we know that Byron, Briscoe, Bowman, Larson, and Sindrick are are in the playoffs. Uh, then in, in actually first place in the playoff picture is Chase Elliott, then Byron Briscoe, then Joe Logano, Bowman, I'll tell you who I did I mention. No, I did mention. Yep, Blaney, Kurt Busch, Larson, Sindrick, Truex, Amarola, um, Chastain, Reddick, Suarez, Kyle Busch, and Kevin Harvick ran out the playoff picture at the top 16. So that's really about it for today's video. Just a reminder that that the next race will be at Cota for the Circuit of the Americas for Cup, Xfinity, and Trucks. So that's really about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys all next time in the next one. Goodbye.